Welcome back, my friends, to Red World Fan Fork, in which right now we're looking at the Battle of the Eastern Seaboard, which I pulled my uh, ships back to the coast, just because actually C Cuba was invited to join the USSR's faction, and, well, it is what it is. But we're doing quite well. We have six carriers here, which is way too many, because we're now getting a penalty to our, uh, you know, battle fleet here because of the amount of carriers. Um, but we have, like, 37 cruisers and two destroyers, and apparently we sunk at least 22 subs, so I wanted to show you guys this battle, which looks really, really good, but... 25? Can we... Okay, 25, let's see, that is... Numbers, numbers, 27! Oh, uh, I can I can definitely count in my head sometimes. 31? We've sunk at least 30. Wow. It says we have sunk only 3. There's 70 subs, holy... Holy crap, look at that, 78%, 64%, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 21 undamaged subs? Holy smoky daddies. But cool. That's actually really awesome. So I had to pull our subs back. But I did ask you guys in the second episode, which I forgot to address in the last episode, what our name should be for Intelligence Agency. You guys came up with some really good names, such as Imp Impossible Mission Force, Winter Soldier. But I went with something that Bernie Sanders would probably want to use, at least to cover up his Intelligence Agency. So we just went with the Democratic Intelligence Agency, as someone did recommend. Um, and we've got quite a few comments to go through as well. So, oh. Subs? Nothing can match the power of an American battle task force. Just look at that. Just just a whole sub lost. A whole sub sunk. I mean, that's so nice. So nice. God, I love carriers. Carriers are so much fun, but we do have a stacking penalty. 60... Oh. <gasps> Hello? How are you? Wait, um, we're intelligence right now. Yeah, actually, we've, we've got 87 Coast Guard divisions, so at this point, I don't think they can really invade America. But, what I do want to do is invade Mexico, which might be a little bit of a problem here. Actually, why am I calling you guys all the way up there? I need you guys to come down here so we can snipe, like, one of these areas off. Like, this area here, maybe, hopefully. So we can circle what this part of New Mexico is, or was. Because Mexico should never own New Mexico. Let's just be real here. Let's just be 100% honest here. Never, ever. But anyways. Uh, so it recommends we do a White Phoenix run, which has an extremely, uh, looks like, very peculiar path and set of decisions that you must take. Um, that's cool. Maybe we will. I don't know. Um, which kind of gets into another comment saying that we should do more countries in this mod or the other countries that you that you guys would like to see in this mod, including the Communist Californians, uh, probably as the USSR different paths, and probably the European Union as well, just because they're united by Italy, but do they have unique... Hello? Yeah, this, I guess it's still the... Is it still the Italian tree? Refugee, cri refugee crisis. Ah, it's not the EU without a refugee crisis. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you guys think of other nations I should play or different routes in these nations for these nations I should play, please let me know in the comments L below. Oh, is this a generic? Oh, is this a generic? Oh, hope no, oh, is this a generic focus tree? Bef China can befriend China. Wow, that is. They're playing some real strategies over there. Wow, that is a bit unusual. I, I want to go to war with Mexico right now, but we just don't have enough divisions compared to them. It's not looking too good. Actually, since you guys are down here. Um, I'm going to throw in maybe a hundred more naval bombers here. That might work very well for us, you know, just in case we get navally invaded, which would not be very good. There you go. Because it looks like we're struggling down here a little bit. Oh, our convoys are. Um, we did have some cruisers, but I want to keep them until we get another task force here. Yeah, you, you want to sink, sink these guys? Yeah, go sink yourself, son. Oh, yeah, sink those subs. Oh, that's so nice. That's at least 22. 23. Oh, so good. Even though we lost, like, a convoy, but that's, you know what? It's all right. Oh, wow. Oh. God, that's so nice. Yeah, I don't know. You don't get that much naval XP, honestly. I'm a little disappointed by that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I should get really looked at by Paradox, but then again, who am I? Who am I to say whatever? Cool. Um, so I asked, like, yesterday, who's John Mackler? Apparently, according to you guys, and, I, and then I looked him up, like, off screen. Look at this. Oh. He's an actual, he's still living. A Trotskyite a secretary, a national secretary for Trotskyite, Trotskyite political party in a modern day. So, he's a real dude. He's a real guy, so I guess that makes sense why he exists. Um, let's go ahead and go to war, maybe. Ooh, supply's not good. good. But Mexico, ooh, Mexico's probably... Ooh. Actually, you know, let's, let's not go to war until we are uh, ready, ready to go to war, probably, so... Arizona's not bad. Ooh, we gotta do this, too. Oh, that sucks. We definitely gonna need more roads here. Oh, my goodness. America and bad infrastructure. You know? What's more iconic? You know, some places have better roads than other places, so it is what it is. Let's see. Uh, someone asked, "What is a Nazbol or National Bolshevik?" Well, apparently, according to Wikipedia, it's a person, a group that believes in basically fascism and what Bolshevism at the same time. So Nazbol, National Bolshevik, kind of crazy. 
but training for future wars. The Union must prepare itself for future wars in the Americas or go abroad. Only then we can ensure that the revolution will go on. Future wars, whether they be within the Americas or abroad, are inevitable. This is probably a really, really, really bad idea, but we're here for war. Not to just sit around and read events, that's TNO, but this is Red World Fan Forks. So let's see what happens. Okay, nothing's happening. Good. Can you guys win there? I'd love to circle and destroy these guys. That'd be really good, actually. Not bad. And then we're going to have the, the motor eyes. Just go ahead and just encircle them all. Nope, yeah, that's fine. There you go. Keep sinking them. Keep sinking them. Let them starve. One, two, three. Three? Okay, so three plus two gives you five. So we've totaled nine divisions here, maybe. Michael Flynn goes zoom, 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 zoom. Cool. And let's go ahead and take them all out. Oh, these guys are still giving us a little bit of a struggle. Uh, let's see, they joined the Warsaw Pact, and we're still in the African Freedom Pact, which is not bad. Lost Squad, oh, hello. Slip here in, here in Africa? Oh, that's not good. Cuba, we might need to invade Cuba. Wow, they are really trying hard here. Look at that. And we, and I literally make sure that we put divisions on the entire coast. So, that and the west coast as well, just in case. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, love to see the green. Ooh, we lost quite a few planes here. That's not good. Oh, they actually have the navy there. Huh. Uh, these are just our normal naval bombers, so please tell me. Oh. They're they're trying hard. Look at that. They're really trying. And actually, um, I think I tabbed over. I can't remember. Was it this mod or was it another mod where uh, I tabbed over and they, it literally was just one like you saw the, the artillery division last time, like this one. One of them actually was just artillery, literally artillery only in the division. So that was kind of weird to see, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, attacking down here is probably not a good idea, and I don't want too many supply issues, so go back over to the east coast, maybe? Perhaps? What are we importing? I don't remember us importing anything. Import? No, we're not importing anything. Um, yeah, don't... Oh, well, actually, you guys gotta keep doing that. Um, yeah, do that for now. I mean, I love refuel, fuel refining, but I don't really need that too much. We're at war with Mexico, but we're not doing too much against us anyway, so... Um, hmm. Very odd. Can you guys actually win here, maybe? I kind of doubt it. There are 11 divisions. Yeah, no, they're going to have to attack us then. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, they're really thick. Of course, attacking over rivers is just a bad idea in general, but... Mexican Texas, how am I supposed to break over? Three for oh my goodness, three four million manpower. Um, they won't attack us either, so I'm kind of questioning what we what we can actually do here. I don't think there's very much that we can do. Uh, seven might not be bad, but that's over a river. Here is probably the best bet, but it's only five divisions that we have. Here might be also very good, or even right here. This tile, you five get down here right now. See what you can do. You guys go down there, and then you guys do that too. Can you actually break through here? Please, for the love of God, tell me you can. No, you cannot. Wow. Seychelles is gone. Mexico's lost a lot. Not bad, actually, for what we've done in Mexico. Uh, Naval Doctrine, let's keep going with that, maybe. There you go. Escort efficiency is still very good. Um, hmm. Well, let's get some radar, I guess. That would help us out, right? Help us out at least a little bit. Get some more air stuff, too. Because the only way we're going to win this war is to have enough air power to beat the crap out of our enemies. So, let's expand our air. Fighters, yes please. Cast, yes please. Let's get some more uh, military factories. Commando training is nice, but go and build a lot of this stuff up too. There you go. That should be built, built pretty darn quickly, at least in my opinion. And, passive defense, very good. Yeah, that, yeah I don't know. AI just does not like to attack in the mod for some reason. I mean, our guys are really thick, don't get me wrong, but... They're just not big attackers. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with it. Is that is that... Just as mod itself or something? I don't know, but naval domination effort. The U.S. Navy was once the greatest navy in the world. Unfortunately, got shattered when the states collapsed, but the foundations are there for the greater American Union to dominate sea lanes and shipping routes all across the world and rule the waves like the British Empire before us. God, they really want to kill us off, don't they? They really do. Nice. Sail four ships. You guys are doing a great job. Skills level seven. Nice. Yeah, they just don't, just refuse to attack. I don't understand this. I really don't.
That ain't making a lick of sense. They just they just don't attack. Hmm. Well, I don't mind attacking, but that's not going to be very good for us if we do. I could try you four, or really three, and then you three, and then you four, and then you three as well. You might be able to do well here. You only need a load of army XP though. Yeah, 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 come on, go, go, go. Just don't lose too much organization. Hey, give me a break over, come on. Nice, we actually broke over, that's pretty good. Actually, yeah, we can, we can break through, that's nice. Are you guys attacking somewhat? Nice. Now we can kill off that many more, but we've done an okay job. A quarter million of them died. Doesn't mean too much, though. Not really. Carry battle groups, nice. We got that stuff done. Let's see. We're done with all this stuff down here. Land auction is done as well. Armor, support companies. It is 2019. Better engineers, I suppose. Make our entrenched soldiers even more entrenched. We got some more sub stuff, even though we have no sub stuff. We need more ships. I need to do more ship stuff. Oh, they're attacking us too. Look at that. Nice. Alright, so you four go right there. You are going to just hold. You will go right there as well, if possible. Nice. How's air superiority looking? Not very good. Not very good at all. Nice, we got that one too. Slowly we will take out Mexico. Super slowly. 99 garrison divisions. Very, very nice. God, supply sucks down here so badly. Chihuahua is where? Where is the capital? Victory point. Is it down here? Hmm. Oh, no, we're, we're doing okay again now. That's, that's good. War support's not very good. Enemy bombings, I guess. War heroes being killed, though, as well, so that's not good either. Hmm. There you go. And there you go. Nice. Oh, can we do anything here? Yes, we can integrate some more territories. Utah, uh, sure, why not? Air Force Department. Suicide pills are yummy, yummy, yummy. And what else? Probably deck there. Give us, give our guys some more time to readjust first. Really, that's one of the best areas to strike from. This here is not too bad either to hit. Why is our line so divided? Why? Okay, you guys are moving over. That's good. I'm like, why are they, why are they so bad? So sad. So bad. We try it again, maybe. Maybe we'll do okay. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Yes. Dial bombing is good. Let's grab some direct ground support. That'd be very good as well. I do want to do the air stuff just because we currently get a lot of air XP, or at least more. So we must do that. And then get some more naval stuff. Come on. And naval domination effort. Second reorganization stage. The first stage of reorganization is complete. And we can move on towards a new era in the Sanders regime, even though he's dead. The Supreme Leader's social and economical reorganization is making rapid strides, and now that he's consolidated power, it is time to move on to the second phase of the social revolution. Carried out by Jeff Mackler, or... Yep, Jeff Mackler. A national daddyist Bolshevikist. Oh, look, they're actually attacking... Wow. Eight divisions versus one. Nice. They're still trying to attack. Oh, yeah, get those convoys. Oh, sink them and stink them. Oh, yeah, we like that. We like that action a lot. We don't have another carrier yet. God dang it. I want another task force. Okay, so you guys did really quite well over there. Sonora's not bad. We can actually attack here next, probably, actually. Cool. See what you can do. Ooh, that is mountains. So that's pretty bad now. You probably can't do well there. It's fine. Get him out if possible, maybe? Maybe? Agent captured. Well, crud, that sucks. Alright, let's do some operations. Oh, well. Okay. Can we rescue the person yet? Yes, we can. Yes, yes. I never really use this stuff too much. Nice. Alright, so we can't save them right there. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, Mexico's a pain in the butt to deal with. Let's see, do we have any more planes, carrier fighters, or just fighters in general? Gas?
Put you over there and cast. So much faster to do it like that. There's a little bit more. Yeah, we don't have a lot of casts. We really don't. Hmm. Right here would be good. Come on, guys. They're invading somewhere. Come on, man. Good. Move in too, because that mount is just god awful. Oh goodness gracious. A lot of dead Mexicans, but not not really helping us out like that. Good. Now we own the province. Good. Still not where we need to really be though. That's a lot of divisions right there. Machine system description, go and do that one too, that's fine. Seven, is that a carrier yet? No, it's probably not. No, it is. Good. Another task force. They're going to be very busy over there. Seven, three. Let our guys get rearranged first. Um, Texas, not bad. Arizona, we definitely got to go. Man, we make no political power. Because early days of national Bolshevism really is bad for us. All right, up next. Let's go ahead and grab some more. Eh, we could grab that, maybe. Uh, special forces stuff? We're not really using special forces though, so, hmm. Um, we're just thinking all the subs. A AI loves making subs. Subs like, subs for days, man. Subs for days. Uh, we've already tried to attack here once. Mountains are just so bad to attack, too. There's nowhere good to attack. We could try to naval invasion, I suppose. We do have you guys, so. We are technically America, so we can probably do pretty well. Trying to uh, use a lot of fuel for this, so one, two, three. And then boom. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm not doing that area. Ooh, I do definitely do not want to get our divisions killed off, but you know what? It's worth the risk. And get down there if you can. We'll do whatever we can to win this war. Let's go economics, huh? Oh, we got him. Four million. Jesus. Mexico is such a large population. Got a few more days to go first. 110 divisions there guarding the border. That's nice. By border, I mean just, you know, waterways. And by waterways, I mean coast. Words are hard, my friends. Psychological warfare is good. God, we seriously got like no organization. So bad. Come on, break up so we can get in there. Oh, are they? Did they attack me there? Did they just attack us right there? I think they might do it some more. Hold on, let's see. Uh, maybe give it another week or so. I mean, yeah, give it another week so we can launch an attack all across at the same time. Ah, finally we can build you all. Thank goodness. Oh, are we getting more. St you know. Nice. Two more shippies, good. They haven't learned too much yet. We got enough task forces down there. Alright, let's try it. Let's go! To Mexico way. I wonder if we're gonna have to force the attack. Because they I know they've got divisions all over the place here, don't they? Force it. Nice. A place for religion? Ooh, American Infrastructure Act, or plan. American Infrastructure suffered much after the fall of the United States as all the remnants had had their own roads and ministries. The Union shall integrate all the roads, highways, and railroads to bring back the glorious infrastructure of before. Now, nah, so once we land, we're going to attack there immediately as well. Um, let's grab this one. I like air superiority a little bit more, so there we go. How about right there? You might just be able to break them if, you hit, if we hit them long, long and hard enough. Because if not, they're going to die, so... Nice, you actually broke through, which is great. Get over there so you get some supplies. Escort patrol is nice. Grab some of that too. Oh, that's not good. It is not good. I'm moving over, son. 
And do we got we got it. This just seems like the AI is just not working. But who am I? Uh, do they leave? Do they seriously just leave? I mean, we'll take the extra su supp supplies, but okay. Oh, they, they kind of did. Kind of came back, though, but okay. I mean, you guys can cut these that, that division off right there if you like. Why not, I guess. And they're still trying to invade, aren't they? Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, you go right there. Yeah, they, they're gonna die there. Nice. Chiapas? Nice. Okay, just keep building, building, building. Get some more millies as well at the same time. Uh, oh, guys, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Come on. Come on, man. Machine assisted, and we're done. Nice. Well, at least they showed up, I guess. There's really not much we can do about this, though. There's something from attrition, which is nice. Though. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Alright, so let's see if we just... Uh, I don't want to really put them on any, any one particular army. But it'll be what it'll be. You should be there by now, right? They're almost there. Almost there. Good. Now, do they... They do have a port over here, too, so... Hmm. I see blockade. Good. You should be able to win that pretty easily. And do that, too. God dang. I keep saying we should get tor torpedoes. So, oh, they're actually... Look at that. They actually do attack. Look at that. They actually do attack. The Mexicans... Are, well, are the Mexicans attacking or is it the Soviets? No, it's the Mexicans. They don't attack on the border between us and where Texas and New Mexico is, but they do attack this area. Whatever, Mexico. You, you you guys keep doing you. I'm, I'm going to call California next in, the, in these groups, so. Alright, it just took us invading in southern Mexico for them to try to nail us. Nice. And they're gone. Thank goodness. Got a lot of divisions around here. Kind of like it. Alright, well, Michael Flynn, you're going to get beaten up a whole lot. But alright, you're doing a good job, Michael. Level skill 8 attack, my goodness. And Jim Mattis is over here too. Uh, probably go offensive, because we like being offensive. But we have no command power right now, which sucks, but whatever. Awesome, support industry. Ooh, look at that, yeah. The resources industry, even though you only get plus 2%. If we're to ever achieve true autarky, we're going to have to provide the resources industry with everything that we can. Only then we can keep our factories going and the revolution along with them. Nice. Four more subs sunk. I need to put something over here too, but... Alright. And so integrate them. Should go fast enough, right? All these other countries should not be nearly as difficult, but you never know. Alright, so we've killed off quite a few guys. Alright, now let's go do some more of this stuff. Carrier holes, why not? Let's see, we killed off a million of those. European Union, a million Europeans. 800,000 British people, because they're not considered Europeans, apparently. Oh boy, that's not good. Are they sinking our convoys? How? Where's the fleet? We have four task forces here. Literally four. And you can't do anything? Guys. Guys. Seriously? Alright, well. You apparently going to need some of that there. I love it when they attack us like crazy. They still have five million manpower, quarter million barrels of oil. A lot of convoys. Infantry equipment. They still got plenty of stuff too, so... That's going to be a while before we can really kill them all like this. So, in the meantime... Of course, some more stuff. Arizona territories, and then maybe some Lincoln, Lincolnian, Lincolnian territories as well. Might as well. Cool. Let's take a hundred here, and do that, and then duplicate you, and go the other direction. Uh, actually, there you go. Yeah, we, we like this one. 
There you go, because we will do a junior attack eventually. Let's go to that. That's good. And we want some naval bombers. Yeah, we don't have that much space here. It's alright though. Cass. Yeah, do we actually have any naval bombers? Maybe not. It's alright. I mean, if they want to keep killing themselves on the line, that's fine with me, man. They're looking really, really bad. Alright, so while they're killing themselves down there, attacking over the waterways. Oh my goodness. There you go. And there you go. Air superiority should be slightly better than before, maybe. Just, be, just because we put more planes in here, we got more air doctrine done. No, you guys are going to lose. God dang it. A little better, maybe. Well, how was the uh, air battle? Not really going on. Not too much. Nothing. Wow, this really sucks. Oh, Jesus Christ! How are you not suffering from attrition with that many divisions, man? Are they attack? Oh, they're actually okay. They're actually attacking us. Okay. That's a little unexpected. Wow. Two two divisions are holding out against thirty one. Okay, so Mexico finally learned how to attack even more. Nice. Oh, we have some more millies. Nice. We need some rubber, some chromium. That'll be some good stuff to grab. Uh, anti Do we actually need anything else besides all that stuff? Naval UCAV. Oh, I wasn't making any of that yet. That's kind of odd. Okay. And then, fair wages for all. Oh, that's going to hurt consumer goods. No, a place for religion. The Union is not an atheist state. Americans shall be free to practice whatever religion they follow without any fear of persecution, as long as it does not interfere with the supreme leader's wishes. Nice. Okay, so now the Mexicans, Mexicans are really just attacking all out. Wow, that looks really bad for the USSR. But then again, it's, it's disappointing that the USSR did not, like, go to war with Europe. I mean, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that they didn't, but it'd be kind of nice if they had, you know, another enemy to kill off. Robert Griffiths? I mean, I'm sure that's a real person, but, hmm. Hmm. Hey, well, actually, look at that airspeed. It's not really going up that much, huh? Even though we are dogfighting quite a bit. 642, 643, 642, 642. 3 to 2 to 1, nice. Nice, 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 nice. And if you could duplicate that, that'd be very, very nice. Doesn't really matter which one you go to, because you're all going to die anyways, probably in the end. Uh, 300 near, not too great, not too bad. We've killed off 1.25 million of them. Uh, well, at least Mexicans. Other groups are still attacking us as well, a whole bunch. Alright, more Mexican subs are not bad. At least, oh, well, they're still sort of, sort of attacking down here. More carriers? Better carriers. How about that? Nice. Dominico Tomas Sanchez. Okay. And integrate Lincolnian territory. And then we're probably going to raise the conscription level. Because 0.5% is not... More than 10% war support. More than 20% war support. Okay, so we can go to limited and extensive from volunteer. We can't do these two. We can just jump all the way to all adults serve. One of the following must be true. More than 0% surrender progress. What? More than 70% war support. More than 60% war support. And more than 0% surrender. Hmm. Okay. Very odd, but okay. Yeah, just keep trying to nail us, guys. Keep trying. I know they're trying their darndest. God dang. Five million, we've already killed. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to take out the Soviet Union because it just... They've got so many soldiers. And that was kind of one of the comments from, uh, you know, from the last video. Someone asked, is the USSR OP? I wouldn't say they're OP. They just don't have too much of an enemy to fight. Now, it'll be one thing if China and them fought each other, but they're not, obviously. So, yeah. But new officer corps. As we come closer and closer to truly uniting America, officers from all across the continent are flocking to us to help. We shall admit these officers into the Union Army so we can make use of their talents and new strategies. It gets more reconnaissance. Daily Army XP game. Max Bang? Not bad. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. Cool. What else we got here? I mean, they just love attacking. I, I don't want to upset people if they really just want to kill themselves off, you know, in-game, in, in Minecraft. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I don't think we can... 
I was going to maybe attack, but you know what? If they want to... They want to attack. Giovanni. Giovanni. Yeah, that's not looking too good for us right here. So... I guess we gotta get a we gotta wait till we get to 450, so 300 more political power, so we can actually do that, which is kind of extreme, but okay. 300 more political power from where we're currently at, so. All right, so I guess we can't really push in too much, but we keep doing focuses for now. That's not bad. Um, they've definitely lost 200,000 pieces of equipment or, or so. They lost a lot of artillery, which is nice to see as well. So, after new officer corps, what are we going to do? Fair wages. Oh, I'll see that for the last invade. Last America? Ooh, North American Central. Ooh, look at that. The United States are back. No one's great North American Union. No, that's cool. Oh, yeah, we don't have to own all of Mexico as well. That'd be good. But the small nations of Central America are non-powers on the international scene. They have to be integrated into the Union for their own good, as, uh, as that is the only way that their voices can be heard. This pretext also provides us with a good opportunity to take the Panama Canal. Not bad. Nice. Oh, look at that. They're definitely trying. It's not even Mexicans at this point. They're all just Europeans. And people from the Soviet Union. That's literally it. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we can reunite America. We can remove American ice. That's weird. We just saw American isolation. But the enemies are still trying to kill us. Like the USSR. Uh, where's American isolation? Do we not have it? We don't have it. Okay, well... The American question. Almost every state of the former U.S. is in our hands, and there is a growing movement both within and without the government are supporting an official reformation of the USA. Has the time come to finally reunite this land once for all? Of course. We know as the United People's States of America. We must keep our name and flag now. We could. Of course. Jeff Mackler reunites America. Demand Hawaii. Yeah, we could try that one. America, the land of the free, rests under an iron fist. While that had once been the fist of the Supreme Leader Bernie Sanders, since his death in January 2017, that duty of clenching down upon the enemies of this new America has been given to the most ardent supporter amongst the crops of choices for his successor, Jeff Mackler. Originally a textbook Trotsky, he became a close confidant and advisor to Bernie Sanders even before his inauguration. When the conflict with the South erupted, Mackler was a fierce war hawk, aiding in the drafting of war plans. As the president consolidated his powers and became the Supreme Leader, Mackler remained a linchpin of the Sanders administration. When the beloved leader had a crippling heart attack, the National People's Council convened and saw that the only option that would protect the Supreme Leader's legacy from revisionist and liberal treachery would be Jeff Mackler, who accepted the council's request for him to take the reins with much pride and esteem. With the party solidified around Mackler and the police state crushing the little opposition that remains, America is returned and Mackler now, pres now resides as its Supreme Leader. The legacy of Sanders lives on, and we change our color to the United People's States of America. Very, very nice. We change our flag, too. That's kind of cool. Oh, huh. got the hammer sickle, I think, or something like that in there. Huh. Any other carriers? No? Okay. The, oh, the American capital. Well, after reuniting all breakaway nations of the former U.S., our government must finally decide on where the new capital will be located. A range of options has been proposed, and it's our duty to sort through them to make a swift decision. North? East? Uh, what do you mean by north? Because where's our capital? It's in Philadelphia, so that's kind of technically northeast. So I'm going to say north. And Indianapolis. Uh, let's go back. Let's go east, then. Philadelphia serves for so long. DC doesn't have anything to do though. District of something. Um, I kind of want to keep it back to Washington because that make. Oh no, political power goes way down. We can't do that one. Oh, not doing Ohio for now or New York. Let's just keep it in Philadelphia. That's where we. Oh, actually, maybe we should have done Vermont. Actually, Vermont would have been really cool if we could do that one. That's New Hampshire. I always get those two mixed up. Vermont and Montpelier. I should go to the new. I should go to there someday. It seems very, like, you never think about the state of Vermont, really. Or, oh, Hawaii accepts. Or New Hampshire, but New Hawaii's agreed to our demands. Our administration is establishing full control over Hawaii immediately. We get the cores on that, great. Which means it's going to get taken over. But at least we got cores on it. 2018 carriers, nice. I don't think we'll have time to really build this stuff up, but whatever. Alright, oh, it's all naked. As much as I love nakedness, this ain't it, man. Yeah, we can, I don't even want to use that since we don't have enough naval XP for that. We don't have enough naval XP because we've been at war with the USSR for the past, what, how many years? Since be, almost like 2016, probably? Okay, so much... So, oh, we can have a lot more detail on the info now. M4s, IWI aces. I'm sorry I've been at war with only Mexico this entire episode. Like, it's kind of been ridiculous, as you can tell. Like, I wanted to go beyond this, but invade Central America. 
And after we invade Central America, uh, let's see. I do want to do a North American Union, but uh, let's see. Anything else over here? Let's go over to the right. No, something on the right side. Um, I guess we have a fair wages for all. Income inequality must be vanquished for the North American continent. Income must be distributed according to your effort, not according to your social status. Nice. Still level six. So yeah. Cool. God, I want to take these guys out so badly. Just it's, this is a bit extreme. I'm not gonna lie. They're, they're all attacking up there, which is great. Now we killed six point six one million. How is Africa looking? Our allies in Africa. Oh wow, that's some severe lag. What's going on? Hopefully they attack Turkey or something. That'd be kind of nice if they did. Instead of us all the time, you know. Uh, let's keep getting more planes, maybe. All right, so we got more planes. We've got a lot of cast. Wow. Give them all the cast. Loads of cast. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cast. Look at all that. Now we got some really green air. Their actual air force is literally dying. Uh, they apparently can't. They put that many more divisions or more planes in the air, which is nice to see. So that's actually really, really good. Tech next technology will be done very soon. I do want to try just a general attack. Please, let me just try a general attack. But we won't be able to. How much air damage are we doing with this battle? Eh, it's not that great. It's not that bad. I mean, even though Cast is attacking, they still they still defend against enemy fighters and such. So, did we win? Oh, we did win the battle. Look at that. Nice. Not bad. Uh, since you're here and you are pretty fast, so can you go there fast enough? You actually might be able to keep these guys in place for now. Nice. Not bad. You guys actually might be able to push. Let let them get some planning done first. And then we'll push out, because we're still lacking some manpower up there. That looks really just god-awful. And Hawaii's not been invaded yet. That's good. Combat unit destruction. Sure, drone stuff. Why not? Alright. Can we actually do that, maybe? Maybe? Ooh, it's not looking good there. Engage over there, guys, if you can. That'd be good. Alright. Let's kind of cut down on our garrisons a little bit, because we got quite a few garrisons right now. Save so a little bit of manpower, that'd be very, very good. Okay, air superiority wise, this is probably really bad to attack now. We're doing relatively okay, so if you guys all generally attacked, you could probably gonna lose. That's a lot of red. How's air superiority looking though? Mm, not good. It's gonna be extremely costly attacks here, I swear, man. We are slowly pushing in though, so. That's a lot of guys lost. Oh, man. God, I wish I loved... Hopefully, you get quarters on Mexico. Come on, take him out, take him out. And fair wages for all. Get in there, get in there, come on. Yes, you got him. You've yeah, actually been pushing down pretty darn nicely. All right, so you guys get to where you need to go. We've lost so many guys in that attacking. These guys down here are still attacking, though, so that's actually kind of nice. Get these guys just to get some planning, then. Get some planning, 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 planning. Oh, you guys head on straight down south. Go all the way down to Baja. Kill them all off. We're out of manpower. God dang it. Oh! Shh. Okay, Mexico's gone. Let's go! Let's go! And get some convoy. Oh, sub is not bad. We do have more of this too, though. Hmm. Nice, not bad. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. I mean, they'll do okay jobs around here, so. And then we'll take out California, maybe call it a campaign, maybe, and then we'll uh, maybe take out. Uh, we've got to take out Alaska at least, right? So, so many dead Soviets are going to be here. So many dead. 
Can we actually core these places? What's going on? Local, oh, local agent, agent recruitment. That's nice. That was extremely costly, but hey, it worked. For better or for worse, it did work, so. Durango, good. Kill them all off. Kill them all off. Go, 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 go. In the meantime, make sure we garrison all these areas, even including southern Texas. Nice. Hopefully Canada won't be this difficult, but cause since they're in their own little union, so. Nice, good job guys. Alright, that should be it then. Oh, we got these guys too down here too, but whatever. They're finding more Mexicans all the time down here, huh? There you go. And let's raise the conscription level. Finally, two service by requirement. Took it long enough. Oh, baby. Nice, so that's stuff is done as well. Use them for light tanks, maybe. Uh, all but one, just hold and just flood north. Get out of here. There you go. Nice. All right, as long as we can hold our coastal regions, that's the most important thing. Um, I'm gonna maybe keep you guys down here for now. I can't believe there's only 17 divisions down here. Wow, that's quite a few. I'm gonna get up there, train. That's fine with me. Kind of don't mind if you guys help invade real fast around the capital, around Ottawa. That'd be pretty good to do. We are mobilizing more, which is nice, of course, but let's see if we can get some of our agents and uh, help put on some resistance, shall we? Wow, it's really bad down here. Who knew? And there you go. Hey, I got some manpower, finally. And they're invading sub Saharan Africa. Yeah. Hmm. Not really good for them. You know, you think they might want a peace someday, but I guess not. No peace for these guys. And hopefully we can just go in and do this one, North American Union. The American Revival is completed at last. Now that we've integrated all the peoples of North America, we can proclaim the North American Union and take our place on the stage of international politics. As a superpower, once again, we got to own a lot of Canadian territories. Wait. We own... We don't... Wait, we don't own Mexico City? We, I thought we own Mexico City, right? Yeah, it's Mexico City's down here, doesn't it? Like, yeah, we own this. Um, Maybe you have to own it, like, in a peace deal, though. That would not be very good, though. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what the Canadians have to offer us. Probably not very much. Not gonna lie, probably not very much. Three more? Not bad. Uh... There you go. You know, get rid of this one and go right there. At this point, I don't think there's really po any point in really doing that stuff. Let's go over right here. There you go. Alright, well, sub ops offensive is very good. It is 2020. Happy 2020, everyone. Oh, Australia and Canada. Alaska and Canada. What a shame. Progressive Conservative Press and Manning. I, I did not give them more. God dang it. Oh, they're actually taking us. Look at that. Go. Or did give more, and they're just not doing anything. There you go. Now that's good. All right. So they're in their own little faction. Uh, they, Australia. What have you been eating? That's a lot of divisions, man. What have you been up to, Julia Gillard? Wow. Oh, sell me up for her then. Okay. Key point bombing. Now, of course, then again, the only person I sent for is a certain somebody. If you follow me on my Discord server, you know who apparently I sent for. That someone keeps messing, uh, messaging newcomers on so if you know who I supposedly sent for let me know in the comments below so everyone else can know <laughs> oh, I love destroying the Canadian Navy you know you, those are things you don't even ask the Canadians have a Navy oh that is just oh that's so nice just zip zip pip 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 mmm yum yum oh, would you guys like to come to Toronto I hear it's a nice place sometime of the year. I don't know when, but I've also been told not to go. Is there Ottawa, maybe? I don't know. That's big stuff we'll not use. Yes. Alright, so much further do we have to kill them off? And they're dead! Alright, we gotta at least end this by taking these guys out, so. 
I think we're still at war with them, though. No, they just peace out with us. Uh, that's okay. So you guys come down towards all this part of this place. That'd be very nice. You guys up there already? Not yet. That's all right. Let's get some infrastructure. Ah, level five and one. No, that's not great, but whatever. Not bad. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any sort of special event if you take out the USSR. I don't know if there's any sort of like really hot war events and scenarios like that. There's not like a super event, I think, for like, you know, when you get in TNO, but yeah, it is what it is. So I don't think I just, I just don't think I have the time and energy to just take them out like this, so. I think this might be where we leave it off after we take out Alaska, just because we have to have Alaska. But the United People's States of America looking pretty good. Okay, since we don't own, okay, so this, yeah, yeah, I'll probably just auto bypass this, so. I'll just probably just use cons commands for this. Man, it takes a while to get up here, doesn't it? Oh, baby boy. Oh, baby boy. That's a case. Alright, so how strong are they up here? We're not really sure. No manpower. So, wait, what? Alaska. It's not like you're in Kaiser Redux. And Alaska has something very, very unique to offer. I think. It's black consumption. Economic liberalism. They're loved by Dan Sullivan. For some, for some reason, I thought that was Peyton Manning. I don't know why. Just probably because of that forehead. But, you know, whatever. Guys, why do you keep trying to invade? Keep doing it. I mean, you're giving us pretty good stuff. Oh, oh, actually. Let time go on, but we actually have to cover all this stuff. Anyway. Let's cover all this stuff up. That'll be good. Just so we don't get invaded. On either side here. Uh, uh, we can't go to war yet. God dang it. Uh, they do have a few divisions up here. That's not good. Uh, we're almost there. About a month left. That's not too bad. How many divisions do they have? I can't imagine them not taking any supply issues here. They have level 4 infrastructure, which isn't bad, but still. Do we have 40 combo wits on... Oh, we have logistics. Oh, we don't have logistics. What have I been doing this entire time? No logistics, no good. Light tanks. Garrisons, infantries. Mm. Oh, we can't put tanks on these guys? That sucks. They just keep trying to invade, man. It's kind of sad, honestly. Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter if we don't stop the game for research, so. Land out attack will be very good for us. And we literally have two weeks left, so. Not bad, not bad. Overall, not too bad. Campaign, I wish Burn. I really wish Bernie just did not die. Like, bro, that just, that's, that's a little heartbreaking for some people, you know. So, uh, yeah, that, that really sucks. But, I guess it's part of the lore. The Red World Fan Fork lore. One, two, three, four. Moving yourself up just a little bit more. They're still on that island, too, though. There we go. Let's take out Alaska, hopefully, for the last time. There you go. They, that's the horse divisions. You guys look like your normal, like, just normal 20 combo with, which is not bad. You know would be nice to take out. And, thank you. Strategic bombing is very good. Go, go. Michael Flynn's very strong, though, which is nice. Alright, so they've lost 3,000. Not very much. But they're out of manpower, so any... Oh, they have up to five divisions left, which is good. And when do they capitulate? We take the capital back. The Aleutian Islands, maybe? Um, I don't know my Dalaskan geography at all, man. I'll be honest. Ooh, baby, that's not going to be good. You know what? You might get some ports up here, too. You might just throw them up here because you can. Or where are the con carriers? There's one down there. Getting, we need more chromium. But I don't want to import it from anybody. Eh, the Chilean socialists, we love them. Maybe not, but okay. Yukon, still building, still building, that's good. Keep going, guys, you're doing great. You guys have space up there, too. So how much do we need to capitulate these guys? Oh, not that much more. They lost another division, maybe. That's good. Ah, uh, Alaska. Eh, 
And okay, how much more? How much more? How much more? How much more? They are 98% of the way there. Never mind, they're gone. Now this is nice and whole again. Aha, Marika. All right, so that's weird that this you can't just do this automatically. So yeah, I don't like that you have to. We own it. We literally own it, don't we? I mean, yeah, it was kind of conquered, but still. I'm just going to use cost command. So, focus.autocomplete. Focus.no checks. Because I don't want to take out the Soviet Union, so there you go. Now, change your flag. In North American Union. Do we get cores on anything? No. That's big sadness hours. Is there anything else? Local agent recruitment? No, but I think that's pretty much going to be it, because we're pretty much done with the focus tree. Um, Yeah. That's pretty much it for this campaign. Like I said earlier, it's a little disappointing that Bernard Sanders has to die, but... <sighs> he's gone for now. But he still exists, at least at the time of this recording. But, if you enjoyed the video, which we're actually really, really close to the date that this video releases, which is very weird, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.